Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and today we're going to go through the 10 new scents that are in the upcoming catalog. I did not order the bars, so I am doing it based on the testers. Um, like I said in the last video, I didn't order the bars because they charge the consultants the full $6 price instead of a bundle and save price. So to me, it wasn't worth it. I'd rather just have these considering like one of them has Palo Santo in it. What if I don't like them and then I have the bars? So this is what I chose to do. So let's get started. The first one is cranberry and cardamom. This is the new catalog. I'm sure you guys have seen this and probably seen reviews of the scents. This is bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of cardamom. Um, I do have my fan on. Um, sorry if you can hear it, but it is bloody hot in here. This is a really nice, I, I get maybe a hint of the cherry. Uh, this one I'll probably get in full size. But to me, I smell that cranberry and just kind of just a hint of that cardamom. So that is really good. I think that's a great cranberry addition considering they took the cranberry, um, the very merry cranberry out of the catalog. All right, next one is dashing. I have it up, I have it upside down. So dashing, pretty kind of blacky purple wax. This is vanilla and creamy mahogany and fresh night skies. It's very light. So I think if you like mahogany, I'm gonna point that down a little bit. If you like mahogany, but like Bath and Body Works mahogany slaps you in the face, I don't think this will. I will warm this um, in the open area at work and give it a go. But so far, dashing is really nice. Next one, I was excited about this one. I have to keep wiping my finger off. It's called Fall Feelin'. Fall Feelin' is blood orange, sugared cranberry, juniper sprigs, and sparkling clove. So I'm not a huge blood orange, but it's another sugared cranberry, so. Huh, okay. You can smell the juniper. So I tend to like um, juniper a little bit better than, than some other tree scents because juniper, for me, gives me more of the berries feels versus the branch feels. So this one is lovely. I mean, it says Juniper Sprigs, but I think that is really, really good. So that one, unfortunately, will be warmed in an open area. So it doesn't give me a headache because I do think that's a headache inducer. All right, next one. Frosted Cedar. So Frosted Cedar is red delicious apple, white cedar, and a blanket of creamy vanilla. Oh, that's delicate. It is apple, maybe a hint, a hint of the cedar. Granted, these are testers. Oh. I, I like that one. That's a definite bar worthy. So far, I'd say all of them are bar worthy for me. Okay, next one, Frosty Air. Frosty Air is sweet citrus, Lily of the Valley, and fresh air. So this one, Lily of the Valley, I'm wondering if they're giving a bone to those who live in the south or the southern hemisphere because they're going into spring, summer, but yet these are, I mean, pretty much all the scents in here are, are fall, winter scents. So maybe adding one with some Lily of the Valley in it is giving them, you know, a little bone. Okay, it's floral. It says it's fresh, but no, it is. It smells like laundry. This would be an amazing laundry scent. Yep, yep, that's, um, there's no frosty air. I was hoping frosty air would be kind of a minty scent, but no, frosty air, perfect laundry scent that would I oh I, I mean I might get a bar because I do like laundry scents in my laundry room 
gosh, I might get a bar of each one except for maybe two. I don't know. Okay, Golden Garland. Fresh pine needles, marigold petals, sparkling orange twist, and a touch of golden musk. I smell apples. Hmm. No, this isn't this is an apple scent. I swear. It says it's fresh. No, I swear I'm getting an apple scent out of this. Like a good fall apple. Well, that's odd. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, make me snickerdoodle. I have really high hopes because usually we get more bakery and we only got one new bakery. So make me a snickerdoodle. Brown sugar, vanilla bean, and sugared cinnamon. I don't want to taint this with my other finger, so I'm going to use my other hand. Gosh, I don't know, but guys, it's like, <sighs> no, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna get a full bar of this, but brown sugar, no. Vanilla bean, sugared cinnamon. I mean, it's a bakery scent, but it, it's not like um, uh, Happy Snick, St. Nickerdoodle. Nothing like St. Nickerdoodle. Nothing like um, apple butter frosting, oats and honey. None of those. So I don't know. I, I am unsure. I'm going to get a bar of it and warm it, but I'm unsure. I think we've had much better bakeries than that one. Midnight Mahogany. I don't know that my head's going to tolerate this one. It's Black Plum, Plum, Black Plum, Black Plum, Cinnamon Leaf, and Dark Mahogany. It's this beautiful, you know, brown wax. It's almost like a red brown. It's actually extremely light, too. This is in the wood category. It's actually not bad, but once again, it's another mahogany scent that usually mahogany blows me out of the water. And this one, it it does not. Now I'm almost thinking, why didn't I get the early? No, I didn't get the early advance kit because I'm not, I don't want to pay $6 a bar. I want the bundle and save. You would think consultants should get the bundle and save, but just saying. Okay, next one, <laughs> Palo Santo and cinnamon. I don't like Palo Santo. All right, Palo Santo, Italian bergamot, clove leaf, and cinnamon bark. So usually bergamot is a masculine. So actually it's not bad. I was really nervous about this one, but it's actually not bad at all. It's, it is masculine, but it's not like mystery man masculine. It's it's pretty, I will admit, it is pretty. I do like that. Well, it looks like I will be getting all of these in bar form. Okay, last one is Red Currant and Wreath. Red Currant, Winter Berries, Interwoven with Evergreen and Sandalwood Branches. It is a red currant scent. Based this way, I'm not smelling sandalwood or evergreen. So we shall see, but that's a fruity scent. And this has it in the spice. I didn't smell a hint of spice. Um, oh, looks like I have some others. I just took them out of the bag. Ah, candy cane buttercream. All right, who was surprised that candy cane buttercream came back in the catalog? It's such a light scent. I mean, it's it's decent enough, but it's so light. And all of us can make it with vanilla buttercream and any one of our peppermint scents. So it's a good lineup. I'm excited about it. As you know, fall, winter is not my favorite um, time frame because typically the scents are too heavy for my head. Um, but uh, yeah. 
Oh, it's so funny. Looking on this, she's holding a little stuffy in the back. This is so funny. You always got to look at the covers because they always kind of give away different things. Let's see. She's holding that. That's funny. Frankie the French Bulldog. So, um, yeah, those are the new scents coming out September 1st. Now, I am a summer girl. I like the heat. Um, but I think this year I'm actually getting ready for fall. I know, go figure, right? Oh, I didn't plan ahead and I didn't get the scent notes. They're on my iPad. Okay, so grabbed my iPad. So the first one is Fall Into Love. Fresh orange peel, cool eucalyptus, and sweet balsam. And there, there is definitely a balsam note, but it's very light. I don't even know that I smell eucalyptus. To me, it's just a, a really nice fall bar. So that's a nice one. Cashmere leaves, which seems kind of odd, cashmere and leaves, but falling leaves brush crisp apple with cashmere spice. Okay, so that's different. I do get apple. I don't, I think this was the one <laughs> where Hannah, they thought it smelled like a garage. I don't, I smell the leaves, the leaves and the apple and the spice. So it's a good one. It will be a headache inducer though for me. Um, let's do white pumpkin and driftwood. This is white pumpkin and driftwood burnished by white cardamom and warm solar amber. Oh, actually, I'm not fond of this one. You can smell the driftwood, but I don't know what warm solar amber is. Maybe that's the note I'm not liking. Yeah, not, not overly keen on that one. Next one is Forever Fall. Forever Fall is baked pumpkin, cinnamon stick, and brown sugar. Let's see if they redeem themselves with the brown sugar because we all know that uh, a vendor wax can definitely do some really good brown sugar blends. Yeah, it is definitely a bakery scent for sure. You do get the cinnamon stick. This isn't bakery cinnamon, which gives you more of a powdery cinnamon scent. This is definitely more of that cinnamon stick, harsh cinnamon. So that one, unfortunately, will also be a headache inducer. So there's four headache inducers. So I'm glad I only bought one kit, to be honest. All right, and then Dutch apple bread. I held this one for last. This is fresh sliced apple, toast, toasted in warm cinnamon, brown sugar, and rolled oats. It's kind of light. I mean, I know I have my fan on, but no. Maybe I'll get more out of it on warm. It seems pretty light to me, but it, I mean, it is an apple scent for sure. It maybe gives a, you know, that kind of apple and oats feel. I don't know, I don't remember that bar, but I am excited about that one. Okay, and then I picked up two of the Disney ones because we were allowed two um, for the pre-order. So this one is Golden Pumpkin, Harvest Peach, Whipped Vanilla, and Brown Sugar. And we all know what happened last time. Oh, no, that was Pumpkin and Pear. And actually, I, that bar didn't bother me, but... <laughs> okay, I think this is actually pretty good. And maybe because there's no spice in it that I'm, I'm enjoying it. So golden pumpkin, harvest peach, whipped vanilla, and brown sugar. Yeah, I, I really like this one. I really think they should do an apple and pumpkin one. Do they have an apple and pumpkin one? I don't think they do. 
anyway that's what i got for you quick simple you know go through the 10 new cents there's going to be lots of people who are talking about the 10 new cents and the harvest collection so that's what i got for you thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye